All right, everyone, welcome back to another video in the detailing series for the E92. So far, we've deconned, deconned all the paint, deconned the entire car, we've polished it, and now the next step is for us to get into the glass. So I find this is the best time to do the glass now after polishing the entire car. Um, basically, all the dirty work's done, so now we can start tidying things up. So our next step is going to be glass. Um, first, first of all, the first thing we want to do is want to make sure the glass is clean. So I use panel wipe and one of our all-purpose towels to, to wipe down basically the entire glass surface, get that nice and clean. And then we want to bring in our G-Technic G4 Nanotech glass polish. Now this isn't a crazy polish, um, but what it does do, it's going to remove any water spots, any dirt and grime, leaving a perfectly clean surface. And as you know, with a coating, you basically want that surface to be as clean as possible. So the coating has got the most amount of surface to adhere to, so it's going to last the longest. So um, we're going to apply the G4 with just a, basically a, an applicator or a, or a polishing pad, um, a hand pad, um, and we're going to apply that. And then again, we're going to remove it, give it one final clean with our with our panel wipe, making sure that all the residue is gone, and then get into our coating. So in your typical G1 glass coating box, um, you'll get <coughs> you'll get your instructions and some applicator pads, which we'll use the applicator pads because they're really good, so we'll use those. Um, and you'll get two bottles, um, one bottle of the G1, which is the actual glass coating, and then another bottle of the residue remover. So this coating will leave quite a residue on the on the glass which is reasonably hard to get rid of but using the G the G2 which is the residue remover um, it makes it easy so and finally we have our coating removal towels um, these are a really low pile towel they come relatively cheap which is nice because once you have a coating in them um, you basically want to throw them out because those you're going to have little glass particles in there that's going to scratch paint so either throw them out or put them into a, a general use bucket where you can wipe down wheels and things with them or anything that's going to be sort of all purpose but um, these are great they're relatively cheap but they're also really good quality um, again i've said it before and i'll say it again um, no seams so no stitching on the seams laser cut so uh, there's going to be nothing that you can you can't add any scratches while you're taking off the coating with these so uh yep yeah. um yeah that's it we'll get stuck in and enjoy the rest of the video okay so before we get to anything again we're going to want to tape off any areas that we don't want to get either the uh, the panel wipe or the or the glass cutting on so we'll go back to our back to our tape and tape all the ears of the trim so again this panel wipe is really strong stuff so we want to stay clear of any any rubbers and we'll give the bases of the wipers um, some tape as well just to make sure we don't get anything on there not the end of the world but nice to keep those keep those clean as well so we'll uh, get this underway and then come back to you with uh, the cleaning of the windshield okay now that all trims taped off Gonna go ahead and give this glass a good clean with the panel wiper. Now, as mentioned just before, this stuff is pretty strong, so uh, basically you do want to spray it onto your uh, microfiber towel first. Spraying it directly on the grass is going to get oversprayed. If this goes on any plastics or anything like that, it is going to damage them. So we want to spray it on the directly onto the onto the surface of the microfiber towel. Okay, whilst it might be strong. It does do a fantastic job of leaving a beautifully clean surface. So you can see basically it just flashes off pretty much straight away and that's just the alcohol in, in, the, uh, in the solution but it flashes off pretty much straight away leaving you a perfectly clean surface. Next up, our, our polish. So as mentioned just before, this stuff isn't going to take any of like the deep scratches out, especially with glass. Glass is so hard you're going to spend hours trying to get deep scratches out so this certainly isn't going to be isn't remedy for that um, but what it is going to do it's going to remove any of those watermarks that that can appear on glass it's going to take off any any dirt and grime that's really stubborn and just going to leave us with a perfectly clean glass which is it's just going to mean that our g1 um, g1 coating is going to stick to this and last for a long long time which is which is epic i mean that's if you do this right your g1 coating should last 20,000 miles which is definitely better than any anything else you'll try I mean, if you're used to the old Rain-X days, all this stuff is a mile better than that. So, um, yeah, certainly what I've come to love. So, yeah, again, not too much, just a little bit of polish onto the pad. 
And once we've got our polish on the pad, then we're just going to give it a good rubbing motion and really rub it in. Perfect. And just do a section at a time that you're comfortable with. But don't be afraid to give it a really good, decent amount of pressure and really get into that glass. Yep, so we're just going to continue to work in a circular motion until all the polish is broken down. You'll see it slowly start to get finer and finer and finer until there's pretty much no polish left. Now that you've spent the last couple of minutes working that polish into glass, you'll start to see the glass becoming really clear, removing any of those old water spots or any slight tiny imperfections or dirt that's left on the, on the glass. You can now remove the remaining residue with an all-purpose microfiber towel. And once all the residue is removed, move on to the next part of the panel and repeat until the whole glass is clear. Now that we've polished the entire panel of glass, we're going to go back to our panel wipe to remove any of those little remaining areas of residue or any polishing oils that have been left behind on the panel um, from, the, from the polishing. Again, we're going to spray our microfiber towel directly with the panel wipe and then go to the glass and give it a good wipe down. Okay, now we're ready to apply the coating. So in the packet, you'll see it comes with about three or four of these small little applicator pads. We're gonna to want to prime that applicator pad to start with, so put a generous couple of drops onto that pad to begin with. Um, again, you're gonna be want to wear gloves to this. Um, you don't want to get this coating on your hands. It's not, not very nice on, on bare skin, so make sure to wear, wear gloves for this whole process. Once you've primed the pad and you have a, couple of, a good couple of drops on that pad, we're gonna work our first coat into the glass. You're gonna to want to work in circular motions for this first coat. Once you've done a, a small area, you'll feel the applicator pad beginning to come dry. So when this happens, simply top it up with a couple more drops and continue on in circular motions for the entire panel of glass. Once you've finished the entire panel, we're going to want to leave that for five minutes to let it cure. We don't want to remove this residue and we're going to continue on with our second coat straight over the top of the residue that's left. Now that it's been five minutes and we've let that first coat cure for that amount of time, we're going to move to our second coat. So on this coat, we're going to move in vertical directions. What changing direction allows you to do is to make sure you get into all those gaps. Um, any little areas that were either high or low in the, previous, in the previous coating are now going to get leveled out by this. And the different directions just going to make sure that any little gaps missed are going to get covered. So same exact process as the first coat, except now we're just going to go in vertical coats covering the entire glass and uh, making sure we get into all those little areas. Again, once you've finished the entire panel, we're gonna wait another five minutes to then perform the final coat. Another five minutes has gone past and it's time to apply our final coat. So now, instead of vertical, we're gonna work in horizontal lines for our final coat. Again, cover the entire panel in the horizontal lines. Once the panel's finished, now we're going to leave it for at least 15 minutes to let the whole glass cure and then we're going to come back and remove all that residue. Awesome, so that's been on the glass now for, for 15 minutes, we've let it cure. Um, you'll see if you get nice and close here that there's a good residue on the glass. So you can see that, so now it's time to remove that residue. Um, so that's when the G2 comes in, so we're going to apply a liberal amount of the G2 to another another applicator pad and we're just going to use it to, to remove the coating. So you're just getting in there, removing it, getting it off as much as possible. And once we've done this, this is our final step and we're just going to use a once we've covered the whole panel, we'll use one of our sealant microfiber towels to remove all the excess. And yep, so we're using one of our microfiber towels to remove the excess and basically going to leave a super clear 
really hydrophobic furnace that just beads water for days. It's epic. It almost makes you excited to drive your car in the wet, which never should happen. But uh, yeah, this stuff does an amazing job and lasts a super long time. If you're used to the old rain X days where you get a solid two weeks out of it, especially if you're driving the car every day, or if the car was left outside for that matter, this stuff lasts such a long time, it's epic. So we did the three coats on the on the windscreen. Um, I typically then just go around and do one coat, so one coat in the circular motion on the the rear and the side glass. Um, uh, three coats on the windscreen allows it's going to you make sure you have a decent layer on with the window wipers going across it, but on the side windows and the rear window because they don't get get any action from any window wipers or anything. Um, simply the one coat is enough. Yeah, so typically you'll get just enough in the 30 ml bottle to do the to do your entire car. But if you've got something like a Tesla or a car with that has a lot of glass, um, and you want to coat the entire entirety of the glass, I'd recommend getting getting the 100 ml bottles. It's not to be fair for a fur coating; they're not that expensive. So go out there and, and get the larger bottles, and you'll make sure you have enough product for the for the whole process. But you can see. Um, with the residue remover, it comes off easy as, and comes off super clean, and it's just going to be epic. <laughs> ah, this car is just getting dialed. It's so good. So, thank you for watching. That's how to apply the G Technic G1 glass coating. Um, again, if you've been following the whole series, this car is just getting better and better with every video, and I can't wait until it's all done. But uh, thanks for watching. Again, all the products available at the detailformula.com, so take a look. And next, paint coating. So we've got CSL going on down tonight, and then we'll come back tomorrow morning and put the XO on, and we are laughing. Um, all done. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.